Problem 8. What is the value of this infinite product? So infinite products, when on AMC questions, typically converge to a single value, so you must try to relate everything into a common pattern that you can solve for. So we're trying to look for patterns here. Everything is taken to the cube root. So we try. let's try to simplify a square root into a fraction. To do this, the general formula is a raised to the bth power taken to the cth root is no more than a to the b over c power. So with this formula, what is root 10 taken to the cube root? Well, that's equal to 10, 1 over 3. What about um, the next one, which is um, cube root of 10 of cube root? Well, if this inner function is no more than the cube root of 10 to the 1 third, then by this formula right here, that's equal to 10 to the 1 third over 3, which is 10 to the 1 over 9. So now we can see a pattern developing, but let's make sure to evaluate the la last one. So that's 10 cube cube and one more cube outside. So we know that this quantity right here we saw for previously, which is the cube root of 10, or cube root, sorry about that, cube root of 10 to the 1 over 9. So by the formula, that's 10 to the 1 over 9 over 3, which is equal to 10 to the 1 over 27. So what is something particular about these powers of 3? Well, this is 3 to the first, right? 1, 3 first, but this is no more than 10, 1, 3 squared. But this is 10 to the 1 over 3 cubed. So if let's re, let's write down a bunch of terms now, because we see the pattern that that's developed. 1, 10 to the 1 over 3, 10 to the 1 over 3 squared, 10 to the 1 over 3 cubed, 10 to the 1 over 3 to the fourth, and so on. But if we're multiplying this together, we can implement another rule about the product of multiple numbers with the same base, which is if I change to red, n raised to the m power times n raised to the b power is n to the m plus b power. So this gets evaluated into 10 to the 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 cubed and so on. And we see here we have a geometric sequence. And a geometric sequence is where every term differs by a common ratio. And the common ratio here is 1 third, right? And you can see here where we just plug in 1 third times 1 third is 1 3 squared. 1 3 squared times 1 over 3 is 1 cubed. 1 over 3 cubed. So that's why we have a geometric sequence. And since the common ratio is less than 1, that means the general formula is that the summation would converge to a1 over 1 minus r. This is a very particular formula you should remember. So therefore, from this equation, the first term here is 1 third, and the common ratio is 1 third. So this is equal to 1 third times 3 over 2, which gives 1 over 2. So ultimately, this entire thing gets evaluated to 10 to the 1 over 2. So there, that's no more by the previous formula, root 10. So if we scroll up, root 10 is answer choice A, and we are done.